So I have my topic sentence that use that connects the uh, literary element to the theme. Okay. So what I have to do right now is I have to think about the greater. How am I going to prove to them that this actually happens? Because this is my idea, and I have to prove that my idea is real. So what I have to do right now? Oh yeah, I need evidence. Okay. So. So here I have this, so I explain my central idea, I analyze the author's use of writing strategy. So now I have to explain the evidence, all right? So I'm not going to reread, I'm going to use the evidence that I picked from before. So one example is... Um, in late August, they made a pact that one of them should do. Totally fucked up. Is when the two... Oh, wait. Let me start this way. When the two friends... Quote. Made a pact that if... One, I'm copying now. Notice when I copy, I use that, okay? <laughs> One of them should ever get totally fucked up. Blah, blah, blah. The other guy would end it. Okay. You would normally write the whole thing, but I'm feeling lazy. So this is my quote. Now I have to do this part. I have to explain how it develops the theme. So I have to say, like, this conflict shows that... So, like, okay, so what I'm thinking is this matches my theme that you have to, like, the idea of promises keeps hope alive. Because this conflict shows that the friends made a crazy promise that, um, so I want to say like a promise that would keep their hope, you know, um, a crazy promise that made sure that they wouldn't let each other suffer. They promised to kill each other instead. I'm noticing though that this is they kept you know this is about this isn't about breaking promises so I'm gonna change my themes my topic sentence really quick the theme that sometimes in war friends have to make and break promises to keep hope alive that makes sure that this works this matches completely um, yeah okay good so I have my quote I have my explanation so now I have to do one more um, another example of how these friends use promises to keep hope alive is when one is when the injured guy says, quote, but you got to promise. Swear it to me. Swear you won't kill me. Okay, so I have my quote. Now I have to explain it. This conflict shows 
that even though the friends swore they would kill each other, instead of suffering, it was more important to break the promise, break that promise, and keep hope alive in his friends final hours before death. Okay, I'm done. I might not I might erase this because it sounds like the friend did kill him. <laughs> he actually just died. <laughs> okay, so like I like that sentence, but it might be a little confusing. But anyway, I'm just gonna double check my rubric. Um I ex I explained the writing strategy, so the explaining is the like this shows. I did that. And I used evidence that really matches. And my explanation, I made sure, I'm going to show you how to make sure nobody gives you a bad grade. My topic sentence is right here. The author uses conflict to develop the theme that sometimes in war, friends have to make and break promises to keep hope alive. In my topic sentence, I have some keywords that I have to use over and over again, okay? Keyword number one, conflict. Keyword number two, did I say theme? Keyword number two is theme, I didn't really use it, maybe I should do that. Keyword, another keyword is friends, and promises, and hope. So in my explanation, I wanna double check to see if I repeat my keywords. So I repeat keyword number one, I'm good. Friends, awesome, promises, each other to kill each other. Oh, I don't have hope. Oh, I have promise again. Okay, this one doesn't have hope. And then this one, conflict, shows that even though friends swore would kill each other instead of suffering, it was more important to break. Oh, I have another one. Break promises. Keep hope alive, friends. Okay. You know what I might fix? Because I noticed I didn't use theme. I might be like, the conflict shows, the conflict shows that, hold on, two friends made a pact. The conflict shows that the friends made a promise. And they, the conflict develops the theme because it shows. That way I have theme in here. I think I'm going to do the same thing here to make sure that I get a good grade. The, this conflict develops the theme because it shows, so oh, I have theme in here. Okay, and then I'm done. Yay! Yay.